hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the get product by id and update product details apis in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call these apis from our angular application and we will create a page to update the product details so let's get started so first of all we need to create the component to update the product and for that we can open the admin and components folder and we can open this components folder in the integrated terminal now let's write the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we need to name this component as update product our update product component is ready now open the admin routing file and we need to create the route for this component and we can duplicate our existing product route and in the path after the word product we need to pass the variable which is product id so we can mention it here and then we need to update the component to update product component now let's save this file and we need to open our post product component and we need to open the html file and let's copy the html file code and let's paste it here in the update product html file after this let's open the css file as well and let's copy this code into the update product at the end we need to copy the ts code as well so let's copy this and let's open update product dot component dot ts and let's paste the code here now we need to import all these things by clicking on this quick fix and then we can click on add all missing imports now let's save all these files and we need to update our heading to update product and then let's update the button text as well to update product now let's save this file and let's run our application as you can see our application got compiled without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's add the details of the login and let's click on this login button after the logging in on the admin dashboard we can click the update button of any product and you can see we got a redirected to the update product page now we need to patch the data in this form and for this we need to call the get product by id api so let's go back in the vs code and let's call this api and to create this api we can open our admin service and here we can duplicate this get all products api and we can paste it here and we need to rename this method to get product by id and in the params we will accept the product id and then let's update these quotes to backticks so we can pass the product id as the path variable and now let's remove this s from the path and then we will add slash and then dollar sign and then we will pass our product id our get product by id api is ready now let's save this file and let's go back to update product dot component dot ts and here we will create one method to call the api and we can name this method as get product by id and in this method we will call admin service dot get product by id and in the params we will pass this dot product id and then we will subscribe the response and we will write the arrow function and here after getting the response we need to patch the values in our form and for that we can use this dot product form dot patch value method and in the params we will pass our response now we need to declare this product id variable and for this first of all we need to inject activated route in our constructor so we can access the params from the url now let's import this activated route as well 
and here let's create one variable and let's name this as product id and we will set the value by calling activated route dot snapshot and after the snapshot we need to mention dot params and here we will mention the variable name which is product id now let's go back to our get product by id method and let's call this in our ng on init method after patching the details in the product form we need to show the image as well and for that we need to create another variable and we can name this as existing image and in our get product by id method we need to set the image in the variable and for this we can write this dot existing image is equals to and here we will add the prefix and then we will use plus sign and after this we need to call rest dot byte image now let's save this ts file and let's go to our html file and here in the file upload container we need to show that existing image and we will create another div and we will only show this div when we have something in the existing image and in this div we have another div and one image tag and in the source we are binding our existing image variable now let's save this file and let's go to the browser now let's click on this update button and you can see we are getting the image preview and we are getting the values patched in our form now let's create the api to update the product details and to call the update product api we can go to the admin service and here we can duplicate this add product api and we need to update the name of this method to update product and in the params of this method we will accept the product id as well with the product dto now we need to pass this product id in the path so we can replace this quotes with the backticks and then in the url after the product we will mention slash product id and at the end we need to update the method as well from post to put our update product api call is ready as well now let's save this file and let's go to update product.ts and here we need to create a variable to check if the user updated the image or not and for this we can name this variable as image changed and by default value we will set is as false and in on file selected method we will update the value of this variable and we will use this dot image changed is equals to true and then we will set the existing image is equals to null after this we will update the method name from add product to update product and we will update the method call as well in the html file to update the product now let's go back to update product ts file and here we need to write one if condition and in this if condition we will check if the image got changed and we have something in the selected file then only we will set the image in the form and we can move this line in the body of the if condition and after this we will update the api method to update product and in the params we will pass this dot product id and then form data and at the end we need to update the message as well to product updated successfully now let's save this ts file and let's save our html file as well and you can see our application got compiled without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the update product details functionality and let's say i want to update the price of the product from 100 dollars to 200 dollars and after updating it i will click on this update product button as you can see we got the message that product updated successfully and we can see the new price here as well 
and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the review functionality in our spring boot application for the order